Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this uh, SSRS tutorial video, we are going to learn uh, how to create a solution with multiple projects uh, or add uh, existing projects uh, to the solution. Now, we will learn how to open SSDT, create a new solution, uh, add uh, or remove uh, or delete uh, projects to the solution. Uh, and finally, we will learn uh, how to add uh, a project from existing solution uh, to the newly created uh, solution. Now, go to the search uh, and then write SQL Server Data Tools. If you are using an old version such as 2005 and 2008, you will not be using the SQL Server Data Tools. You will be using BIDs. So open BIDs in that case. I'm going to pin this one to taskbar. Once it's here, I'm going to click it and open it. Now I, I will be going to the file and inside the file I have new and I will see the project. I'm not creating a website, I'm not creating a file, I'm creating a project. Once uh, I, I click project, uh, I get these options or templates uh, for business intelligence uh, where I have analysis services, integration and reporting. I'm going to click on reporting here and then select report server project. Now here you will be providing uh, the name of the project uh, that will be inside your solution or your solution can have more than one project now go ahead and pro provide the name let's say we call this one uh, uh, customer reports and uh, this will be our solution and uh, let's uh, give this name uh, ssrs uh, reports solution now it is going to create a, a new directory and uh, here you can see that where exactly it is uh, creating that uh, you can always uh, change that uh, and uh, um, most of the time it is under C users and then your name and uh, documents and project uh, and uh, in my case I have just put on the desktop uh, so under the SSRS uh, projects uh, that's where I'm putting this uh, new solution and I'm gonna hit OK it is going to create uh, a new directory so let me take you to the desktop and uh, we have SSRS projects here and uh, that's where you will see SSRS report solution that's what it is uh, creating uh, and inside that uh, you can see customer reports uh, and if you click this uh, this is the solution file dot SLN and this is your uh, folder for project uh, and you can see the project uh, uh, file is there RPT PROG right so next uh, when we are going to create another project it will be creating a new folder now we have only one uh, project in this uh, solution now to create a new project uh, I can go to the file again and say add and say new project now it is bringing me to the window where I can add a new project uh, and the same kind of template here business intelligence uh, analysis services integration and reporting but this time uh, it did not show us the, the solution because uh, it took the solution automatically that's where it need to save and it is asking us uh, to only provide the project so one solution can have multiple projects so first of all we have created customer reports uh, here we will create the finance reports so that's our second name for for our second project we hit okay now we can see that in SSRS reports underscore solution that contains two project one is customer reports and other one is a finance reports so that's a great way you can have in one solution you can have multiple projects and have the reports and data share data sources or share data sets according to the project and uh, th this really become uh, handy when you need to manage a lot of reports uh, and uh, I, I always uh, go ahead and create multiple projects uh, and uh, that's how I remember okay this report belong to the this uh, project uh, and especially in cases uh, maybe you have two reports with the same name uh, so you will not be having a uh, in the same project you have to put in the different projects and that's how it, it become easy to manage the report deploy the reports and uh, moving forward we will do all experiments and I will show you how to deploy the entire project reports and um, or finance or customer whatever uh, reports we need to deploy or how to deploy our shared data sources and everything now we learn one solution can have multiple projects 
if I will go ahead I want to change the name I have the option to change the name so if I want to go ahead and rename it I can go ahead and rename it now one one thing I, um, I would like to do with these existing projects I added or created here I would like to add a new project from one of the existing solution so if we go to the SSRS projects here is SSRS training project uh, solution uh, or the folder and then we have uh, HR reports uh, so that's the project uh, we want to add so now let me go ahead and add that here we will go to the file go to the add and say new sorry existing project and then uh, we can uh, browse to the project file and add that so SSRS training HR reports and then uh, here it is telling us the project file select that and now open now you see here all of those uh, projects are included in this uh, solution let's save that now once we save it we can go ahead and if we go to the SSRS project here SSRS projects we can see see even uh, we have uh, created or added that solution it did not show up here so that's uh, one thing uh, we need to remember and uh, if we go and take properties of this one let's see what it is show us okay this uh, this is just for the deployment properties so now let me save this one and uh, let's say if we build build solution entire solution now we want to go ahead and take a look if this solution is creating that project so this that project did not get created because it is existing from other uh, solution so SSRS uh, training uh, that has HR reports and we just added that uh, to it uh, as we build it uh, by using uh, this newly solution uh, it created uh, the file uh, bin file here in the actual uh, um, per, uh, solution so even as we have added that project uh, here in this SSRS report solution it is still pointing to the existing solution it belonged to so now one experiment we would like to do let's say if we save this one and we go ahead and drop the HR project let's see what happen in the SSRS training we have this HR reports let's delete it now it, it got deleted now next time we come back here we say okay and we don't see this one let's go to the actual and still we do not see the HR uh, reports in this uh, solution so we don't see the folder created here now what happened if we try to build build succeeded that's great so let me go back and now we want to take a look in SSRS we have SSRS training and now when we build that solution it created that uh, folder again in the, the existing uh, solution uh, where it belonged to the very first uh, time uh, so that's how it is uh, working uh, now if you need to create uh, uh, or add uh, so one thing we learned from here you can in one solution uh, you can add multiple projects uh, and keep working on them and they will be saved to their prospective uh, or the, the 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 solution they belonged to uh, we can go ahead and delete financial report from here. So if we will uh, remove Now finance report will be removed now this uh, should be here right in the SSRS report and we have deleted that folder from the So uh, we have deleted that project from the solution. So I'm going to save this one build it So we build this one now we can close this window still uh, as we have deleted uh, the folder it did not get deleted uh, from the solution file or a uh, solution uh, folder so if we go ahead and take a look here this is still uh, there so one more thing well, let's open reopen it now open that go and open solution and uh, we say SSRS uh, report solution we have this solution we want to open it one or more projects in the solution were not loaded correctly please use the output window for detail okay 
as we have removed uh, del or deleted uh, one of them that uh, but that did not give us error let's see what it what is given error so it is telling us a C desktop user training HR and backslash HR report project uh, could not find uh, the file because uh, we deleted that project uh, so on the first uh, when we deleted this uh, from a uh, SSRS per, uh, training uh, folder we deleted that so you don't see that uh, um, that's the reason it is uh, complaining so if we use some uh, uh, project and delete it and uh, then it will try to reload it then it's going to create a problem so let's uh, th that's the one reason and it was trying to find uh, SSRS training HR reports and then underscore this uh, so let me see um, okay and the user so you can see the user file is there but the project file was dropped as we have dropped the entire HR report folder it was recreated as a part of build when we build the uh, entire solution these files are created bin and all that but project file is not there so you need to remember that how you will be adding the projects if that project will be get deleted uh, what happened to uh, your existing uh, solution so it will be unavailable and the uh, second uh, if you will even uh, remove uh, the solution from here uh, then what was going to happen that uh, folder let's say customer we have deleted uh, the finance folder and if you go back to the actual uh, directory we still see the finance project uh, there so deleting from here does not do anything to the directory itself that I was thinking it should do it because it, this is how we are managing it right so if I will go ahead and uh, delete uh, remove from here or delete it should uh, delete uh, the let's say delete this one as well we saved it and we said build it just to make sure you know now if I go back to the folder SSRS projects SSRS report solution these folders or uh, solution are still uh, sitting uh, sorry these uh, folders uh, for those projects uh, are still sitting there so we have customer and reports so they are not uh, getting deleted if you delete from here so let's say if we will uh, reload uh, sorry that's not available so that's error it will go ahead and open and uh, sorry add and existing project and we go back to the SSRS report customer reports and take this project dot RPT project project that's a project file it came back just fine so if you are deleting from here that's not going to be deleted from the directories you can go back and add them again to your solution so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope you learn something from these experiments and you will not make these mistakes I will see you next video.